live at 10. Well, coming up, oil prices have reached a six-week low. And in COVID-19 lockdown worries, will there be any relief at the pump? And there's no way that you can justify in the streets of America that an individual can carry an automatic weapon, an AR-15, and shoot and kill anybody under any reason. Kyle Rittenhouse not guilty on all counts. Demonstrators took to the streets to protest the verdict. Plus, if there's any indication how good Christmas is going to be this year, this crowd is great. Well, not by reindeer, but by way of helicopter. Santa makes an early stop in Monroe today. Hello and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeremy Harrell. Well, two separate crashes in South Louisiana killed a total of seven people on Friday evening, with impaired driving said to be the cause of both. Now, the first crash occurred in Homa, Louisiana, when a driver attempted to pass another vehicle in a no-passing lane and struck another vehicle head-on. The crash claimed the life of four people. The second crash occurred in Lafouche Parish shortly after midnight when a Ford truck crossed the center line of the highway and struck an SUV head-on, causing both vehicles to burst into flames. Now, all three of the occupants in the SUV died at the scene, with the driver of the truck experiencing only minor injuries. Now, the driver of the truck was arrested for DWI fourth offense with other charges pending. One man has been arrested in connection with a shooting at a West Monroe apartment complex. The Washita Parish Sheriff's Office arrested Hurt Gordon on one count of attempted second degree murder. The arrest comes as part of an investigation by West Monroe PD into a shooting at Camellia Trace Apartments last May. Now, according to the arrest warrant, Gordon was involved in a verbal dispute, which led to him firing a gun. A Wisconsin jury found Kyle Rittenhouse not guilty on all counts. The teen was faced up to life in prison if he had been found guilty. Now, demonstrators took to the streets to protest the verdict. Innocent! A crowd of about 30 protesters outside the Kenosha County Courthouse when the verdict was read. We, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Ritten, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. The reaction mixed, but for Kyle Rittenhouse, his spokesman says he can finally move on with his life. What does his life look like moving forward in terms of, I mean, he needs security right now to leave the courthouse. He's become a target in a lot of ways. Well, we'll see. We'll see. He's become a target until, I believe, until this trial began. And when a lot of truth came out, I've said this before, a lot of truth came out in this trial that, that just were in opposition to everything that's been reported for the past year. Rittenhouse's attorney says he had faith if the jurors followed the law, this would be the outcome. That if you read that statute correctly, I know everybody thought I was crazy. If you read the statute correctly, he was legal in having that firearm. The parents of one of the men killed by Kyle Rittenhouse in Kenosha in 2020 released a statement after the verdict. Anthony Huber's parents say, we are heartbroken and angry that Kyle Rittenhouse was acquitted in his criminal trial for the murder of our son, Anthony Huber. There was no justice today for Anthony or for Mr. Rittenhouse's other victims, Joseph Rosenbaum and Gage Grosskrauts. For this to happen in 2021, it's upsetting to us but it should be upsetting to everybody out there in the audience. Jacob Blake's uncle, Justin Blake, reacting to the verdict outside the courthouse. Jacob's police-involved shootings sparked protests and riots in Kenosha, where Rittenhouse shot the three men. What's your message to people upset protesters out on the streets? They should be. I mean, look what happened. Who, I mean, how many cases do you need to see of Caucasian cops or other people walking out the door after murdering people that were either African American or supporting African Americans. Do you have a message, though, for people who don't have good intentions that are going to go out and, you know, we don't want to see what happened last time? Well, we ask everybody to recognize human life, uh, to uh, try not to hurt and harm each other. Well, in the consumer alert, oil prices have reached a six-week low amid COVID-19 lockdown worries with demanding increases of oil prices, saying more than 4% to just over $75 a barrel. Now, this may not mean relief for consumers as crude oil prices are not likely to have an immediate impact on gas prices. Now, on Friday, the national average for gas stood around $3.41 per gallon, and that is up 
from $3.34 just one month ago. Well, Thanksgiving holiday travel is well underway. According to a TSA spokesperson, well over 2 million travelers were screened at airport security checkpoints nationwide yesterday. Now, AAA says it predicts more than 53 million Americans will travel over the Thanksgiving holiday. Well, things were slowly starting to get back to normal after what were some very intense moments at Atlanta's Hartfield Jackson's International Airport. Now, the lines were long as more than 50 flights were delayed after a firearm accidentally discharged in a screening area. Now, according to the TSA, an agent noticed a prohibited item in a bag. The agent told the person who owned the bag to step aside as the agent conducted their inspection. Now, the passenger, quote, lunged into the bag and grabbed a firearm, at which point it discharged. Now, the passenger then ran out of the area. Authorities say they have issued a warrant for the suspect, Kenny Wells. People just came flying through and just were like, run, run, run. And then people were just running, and we all just ran outside this door right here and made our way across to the side of the air, airport. And just, it was organized chaos. Well, friends and families came out to see Santa arrive via helicopter for the 17th annual Santa Stop event today. NBC 10's Valerie Maravi spoke to Santa and residents about the exciting experience. If there's any indication how good Christmas is going to be this year, this crowd is great. Monroe's doing a really good job. They've come out today for the Santa Stop. We've got lots and lots of good boys and girls. I, me and Miss Claus, we couldn't be any happier right now. And neither everyone else. It's freaking fruity news. It is a giant tornado coming. What's your favorite part of the holiday? Christmas. Okay. Why? Because I have presents. It's been the perfect weather, and we just appreciate everybody for doing this. We've had fun. From Christmas goodies. To Lama in town. The drive through experience has been hosted by Sunny 98.3 for over 15 years, bringing the magic of radio. Yes, we were trying to make it so people who couldn't be here for whatever reason could see it in their mind the magic of radio. Kay says the Santa Stop 2021 was the biggest turnout they had, including a bigger number of boots. And morning anchor Maya Hajin says they ran out of candies in no time. Oh, it has been so fun. We've been out here passing candy. The kids have been super excited. Side. We got rid of our candy in an hour and a half. Can you believe that? We had so many people here, so it's been really exciting. Wonderful. Woo -hoo. A lot of fun. We're coming up on NBC 10 News at 10. COVID vaccine boosters for all American adults approved by the FDA. Plus, get Moderna, Moderna, and then get a Pfizer. Many Americans are trying to decide when to get their booster shot and which one is best to get. You're watching NBC 10 News at 10. The NBC 10 News app, sponsored by the law firm of Eddie Clark and Associates. The bond between a grandfather and a grandson is a special relationship. On Monday, our very own Nick Summer tells us the story of his grandfather and how he influenced his life right up until his final days. Grandpa and Me, Monday on NBC 10 News at 10. Best Reviews has an unbiased team that researches products in real-world situations. Call that a plasma sword? For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. I did some early shopping this year. One for you, one for me. I love it. I got us a little something, too. Yeah? Yep. One for you. And one for me. I love it. Oh, actually, that was... I love it. I like red. Get over 2,000 purchase cash on 2021 Sierra Light Duty Crew Cab models. Plus, current eligible GMC owners get an additional 250 purchase allowance. See your Monroe El Dorado area GMC dealer. It's Paul Michael Company's great $3 million store closing sale. After 16 years, we're closing our Monroe store forever. Now, everything must be sold down to the bare walls. Shop liquidation sale prices on a huge selection of fine quality home furnishings and area rugs. Nothing's held back. You may never, ever find fine quality home furnishings at prices like this again. It's first come, first save during the great $3 million store closing sale at Paul Michael Company in Monroe. Working for Intergy means powering our community. And taking care of our environment. I'm proud of that. 
Energy has one of the cleanest generating fleets in the country. And we're becoming cleaner. We're bringing renewable energy to the power grid. We've added more clean solar power to our energy mix. We're helping customers conserve energy. And preserve our environment. This is our future. So I'm doing everything I can. Because together, 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 we power life. News at 10 continues. Well, welcome back. In COVID-19 news, boosters for all American adults cleared an important hurdle yesterday when the shots were approved by the FDA. Now, the push for booster happens as infections are rising in some states and the holiday travel rush approaches. Now, boosters are already available in many states, including Louisiana. Now, health officials hope the shots will help fight another wave of infections. Now, the next step for approval is in the hands of the CDC. Well, many Americans are trying to decide when to get their booster shot and which one is best to get. Dr. Kirsten Leike led a nationwide vaccine study on booster doses for the University of Maryland School of Medicine. It started in June at 10 locations across the U.S. and tracked more than 700 participants. You could get Moderna, Moderna, and then get a Pfizer. You could get Pfizer, Pfizer, and then a Moderna. You can mix it up. That's the beauty of this. Higher doesn't mean better in terms of antibodies. There's a threshold. So if you get over that threshold of antibody, it doesn't matter how much higher you are, you're no better protected than someone who might have a little lower antibody. C says more than 26 million Americans have already gotten a booster. With plenty of vaccine supply, the scheduling process is wide open. But Dr. Leike cautions not to abuse it. She says healthy people don't need more than one booster. Well, the holiday season is officially underway in Fayetteville. Last night, Mayor Jordan flipped the switch on the lights of the Ozarks display downtown. Each year, the Parks and Rec Department spend more than 3,000 hours decorating the square with more than 500,000 lights. Now, it was all smiles from kids and adults who welcomed in the holiday season. That really puts me in the Christmas spirit. I was about to sing a, a Christmas tune, but I'm going to let you have that, Brianna. Well, I'm not going to do any singing, but <laughs> I will take it away to our new El Dorado Sky Cam. Now, you can see some lights going on there, and we're still seeing clear skies. I'll have more on your full forecast coming up after the break. You're watching NBC10 News at 10. Legends at Hunter Elise, weekday mornings on NBC10 News Today. The Saints take on the Bills in a Thanksgiving night showdown. Before the game, join Chris Demersion for features, highlights, and a review of the Saints season so far. The NBC10 Saints special, Thanksgiving night at 6.30 on NBC10. Won't you save all your pumpkin pie just for me? Welcome to the Tonight Show. Let me show you how it's done. Oh! Show me what you got. I don't want to be a Lego. Sleepy Hollow Furniture, celebrating 40 years of livable luxury. What does innovative cancer care at Willis-Knighton mean to hospital administrator Kim Green? It allowed him to stay in Shreveport for his treatment and gain a new perspective on giving back while volunteering at the food bank, playing music for church services at Holy Angels, having time for his garden, and special moments with his wife. All thanks to the region's most advanced cancer provider, Willis Knighton Cancer Center. Always here. Bankruptcy isn't what we do. It's all we do. Call Sam. The beating of the drums. The roar of the crowd. The sound of the whistle. Football is in the air. With each season, traditions are passed down from one generation to the next. Much like one of our favorite pastimes, Jim Taylor Chevrolet understands the importance of keeping traditions alive. Cheers may change, players may change, rules may change, but one thing remains the same. The best seat for celebrating the game will always be the tailgate of a vehicle from Jim Taylor. Find new roads at Jim Taylor Chevrolet in Rabel. Live Storm Trekker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. 
And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Brianna Medina. So today we were a little bit warmer as opposed to yesterday, but our temperatures have cooled down because, well, that sun has set. Right now, our temperatures are in the lower to mid 50s. Monroe is at 50 degrees, Ruston is at 54, and Alexandria is at 50. Now, we are still seeing that dry trend within our dew points. Our dew points are below 65 degrees. Monroe is at 47, Alexandria is at 49, and Ruston is at 49 as well. And this is going to continue for the rest of this evening. We're going to be seeing little to no chance of rain. However, later on tonight into tomorrow morning, we are going to be seeing some patchy fog starting to develop. And also what is happening tomorrow afternoon, we are going to be having a cold front come through the Arklemas and along with it, some cloud covers and some rain. Now this rain is going to be short lived because on Monday, we are going to be seeing this high pressure system coming to our region and it's going to be clearing out that cloud cover and clearing out most of that rain. However, we are not in the clear just yet because later on this work week, we are forecasting another cold front that is going to be making its way as Thanksgiving approaches. Yes, that you heard correct. We might have some rain for Thanksgiving and we're also going to be seeing cooler temperatures, but for tomorrow, our temperature is going to be pretty much the same. Our high is going to be 73 degrees and again, it is going to be patchy fog in the morning, but once that sun rises, that fog is going to be clearing out and some rain is going to start developing later on in the afternoon and starting on Wednesday into Thursday, that is when we are going to be seeing the most chance of rain. Thursday is going to be a 60% chance of rain. So of course, pack those umbrellas, rain jackets and rain boots for any Thanksgiving plans. And that's going to be lingering for the rest of the weekend with 10% chance of rain for Friday and Saturday. Saturday. Thursday is going to be a rainy Thanksgiving. Yes, unfortunately, yes. But at least we're going to be inside. That's true. That's true. <laughs> well, the Community Dance Company had their first dance rehearsal kicking off the season. Yes, this nonprofit company by Marilyn Cox was started to give girls and boys an opportunity that her parents could not afford. I started Community Dance Company in 2014. And it was an idea of mine uh, quite a few years before I started it because my parents had four girls and we just couldn't afford to go to dance. So that was one of my goals to have a studio where kids could come and dance and then have to pay. So it's a nonprofit organization. Ms. Cox says this organization is so much more than just teaching girls and boys how to dance. It's an outlet for most of them. And she also helps them with their self-esteem, how to not only respect themselves but others, and to be a part of the community, which leads them to do countless volunteer work. Dance is life. Um, I think any dancer would say that, that genuinely loves dancing. Um, as a child, I just couldn't be still. Um, I loved acting and everything, but dance is really what brought it home for me. This is just the beginning of the Community Dance Company season. For more information on their performances, go to myarklimist.com. Well, what a powerful story. Yes, it was. Mm. Stay with us. Sports is next. Tips on how to stretch your dollar? How about advice on how to manage debt? Or answers to complex financial topics? Get these answers and more on Money Minute from Washita Valley Federal Credit Union. Mondays on NBC10 News Today. Academy Sports and Outdoors has the gifts to make this your most fun Christmas ever. From game tables and grills to apparel and sneakers, we've got everybody covered this holiday. Merry Christmas from everyone at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Who has what it takes to go beast mode? These kids did. Who will be next? Watch NBC10 News at 6 and 10 every Thursday to see this week's Beast of the Week. Sponsored by My Rose Restaurant. Home Pros of North Louisiana can take care of all your home improvement needs. We specialize in replacement windows, new construction windows, metal roofs, screen rooms, patio covers, and more. We cover up to a 200-mile radius, and we offer free estimates and financing. Whether you're remodeling or just upgrading, we can take care of all your window and home improvement needs. Let Steve or Calvin's combined experience installing, building, and remodeling homes lead to a beautiful home renovation experience. We're locally owned, licensed, and insured. Check us out on Facebook. Home Pros of North Louisiana. I'm Attorney General Leslie Rutledge with a public service announcement about the COVID vaccine. 
like you, I'm tired of the mask. Kids not in school, people not at work, but I'm sick of going to funerals. No one should be forced to get the shot. It's about personal responsibility. I got the shot this spring. I got the shot. I got the shot. I got the shot. Know the facts about the vax. Get off Google and talk to your doctor. Over 90% of Arkansans who have died from COVID did not get the shot. Know the facts about the vaccine. When severe weather threatens, turn to NBC 10 News. Trust Jared Floyd and his team of meteorologists for accurate guidance to plan your day and keep your family safe. The team to trust is on NBC 10, your weather station. News sponsored by Homeland Bank. Sports. Well, welcome back. One local team in action on this college football Saturday. The ULM Warhawks are playing right now as we speak to be bowl eligible as they take on the LSU Tigers in Baton Rouge. Well, our sports team Nick Sumner and Stephen Pappas sent us a preview of tonight's predictions. Sports team back here in Baton Rouge as the 4-6 and six ULM Warhawks look to take on the 4-6 and six LSU Tigers. Now, Stephen, I know here you were here last week with Garrett Nussmeyer, uh, starting quarterback for LSU, but that will not be the case this week. Yeah, no, Nick, he will not be the starting quarterback this week. Ed Orgeron announced a little bit earlier, a couple days ago, that Max Johnson will resume his duties as the starting quarterback last week in their loss, their overtime loss to Arkansas. It was reported that they were going to do some sort of platoon system. They were going to ride the hot hand. Max Johnson started the first two series of that game. Nothing really happened for that LSU offense. Garrett Nussmeyer came in through a touchdown pass to Jack Besh, and then uh, for the rest of the game, it was Garrett Nussmeyer. He, was, he looked good. I gave him a C-plus grade at the end of uh, the game on Saturday. He made some really good throws, some mature throws, but also made some big mistakes. He had two turnovers, an interception to Miles Slusher earlier in the game, as well as a huge interception in overtime and a 50-50 ball that ended up sealing the deal for Arkansas to win that game. But Max Johnson's got something to prove, just a sophomore. Uh, he's got a lot to prove here in the last two games. LSU still looking to be bowl eligible. They got to win tonight, and then they got to win next week against Texas A&M, which also will be right here yes. at Tiger Stadium. But both teams are also looking to be bowl eligible. Both teams, like you mentioned, four and six, mm -hmm. need to win out to get into the bowl game this year. Yeah, I, I think uh, LSU is going to win in close fashion tonight. Um, my score prediction would be 24-21. Um, you know, I am rooting for ULM. As a, as a new Monroe native, uh, but, but I think LSU will pull this one out. Well, when you look at ULM, however, you got to look, uh, their offense has been, I don't want to, uh, don't sugarcoat it, it's been bad. It's yeah. been very bad all season, but they had a bright spot last week against Arkansas State in Malik Jackson. Coming into the day, or coming into last Saturday, he only had 94 rushing yards total on the season, just about under 20 carries, I think it was 19. He had 22 carries for 166 yards and two touchdowns in that game against Arkansas State. I I know they did not win that game last week, but he was a bright spot, and head coach Terry Bowden said it in his press conference earlier in the week that they were looking for a running back to step up. Jackson, who used to play slot receiver a lot at the beginning of the year, said he was injured a lot, stepped into a big role last week, and like I mentioned, I know they didn't win, but 22 carries, 166 yards, two touchdowns, and oh, by the way, a 75-yard touchdown to start the second half, as well as a 55-yard run to start at the end, the first half, the two longest rushing plays for ULM on the season. So. Something you're going to have to look forward to tonight for ULM is Malik Jackson. Yeah, he could be that X factor that, you know, gives ULM that final push they need to uh, come home with a victory. And I think this year, if there's going to be a year for ULM to make history, it is this year against this LSU team. 24-21, ULM gets the field goal because it just feels good to have a kicker. So I'm glad to hopefully that'll be the ending. You heard it here from Steven Dollar, West Monroe quarterback, 1996. ULM will win this game. 32 to 28. We'll continue to keep you updated throughout the game on social media, and we will have the full highlights for the game uh, for tomorrow on Sunday. But for now, in Baton Rouge, I'm Nick Summer with Stephen Pappas. Well, the game is currently going on right now. We are in the third quarter. The score is 7 ULM and 24 for LSU. And there is one minute left on the clock. We'll have your full highlights tomorrow. But in the meantime, take a look at a few high school scores from last night. A last look at your forecast after the break. You're watching NBC 10 News at 10.
at Simmons Sporting Goods. Score big on a PSC Coalition crossbow ready to hunt package now $299.99. Get in the thick of it with an Ameristep Magnum Caretaker blind just $99.99. Get in the stand with the incredible Matthews V3 compound bow, only $849.99. We're open 8.30 to 6, Monday through Saturday, and noon to 5 on Sunday. Get 12 months, same as cash, or shop SimmonsSportingGoods.com. Home Pros of North Louisiana can take care of all your home improvement needs. We specialize in replacement windows, new construction windows, metal roofs, screen rooms, patio covers, and more. We cover up to a 200-mile radius, and we offer free estimates and financing. Whether you're remodeling or just upgrading, we can take care of all your window and home improvement needs. Let Steve or Calvin's combined experience installing, building, and remodeling homes lead to a beautiful home renovation experience. We're locally owned, licensed, and insured. Check us out on Facebook, Home Pros of North Louisiana. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead. Take on new challenges and take it to the next level. It's the perfect time to do more in your next Chevy. Find new possibilities, find new roads. Very well qualified buyers can get 2.49% financing and $12.50 total value on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, unlock your code to claim $500 Chevy Cybercash on most Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Do you have difficulty with Bell's palsy or facial drooping? Call or visit the Swallowing Clinic online today to schedule a consultation. Get the six-minute advantage with the live Storm Tracker Doppler radar on NBC10, your weather station, sponsored by Homeland Bank. Where's your money? The NBC10 Fox 14 Barren Weather app, sponsored by Kubota of Monroe, Maya Hudgens, and Hunter Elise. Weekday mornings on NBC10 News Today. The NBC10 Fox 14 Barren Weather app, Sponsored by Sam Henry. Well, that wraps it up for us here tonight. As always, you can go to mymarklemiss.com for more local news, sports, and weather. We'll see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night.